what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here welcome today i have a very exciting stock for you guys and that is saint george's eco mining corp and it is on the otc market under ticker symbol sxoof now this is essentially a lithium company working on a battery recycling technology for the future of EV vehicles and all lithium batteries. So this company is very similar to another company that we talked about on the channel and I'm also very bullish on, and that is American Battery Metals Corp. Now this company, St. George's Eco Mining, is obviously very cheap and a very small market cap of about 135 million. On the other hand, the company it compares to, American Battery Metals Corp, is a little bit more expensive and is just over a $1 billion market cap. Now, just a couple of months ago, American Battery Metals Corp was at about the same price that SXOOF is right now, and since then, it has seen massive gains up over 250% even after the recent decline. So the question is, does St. George's Eco Mining Corp have the same potential? And can we expect growth as quickly as American Battery Metals Corp? So we have a lot to talk about about this company. I found some deep facts about this company, and although it is very risky, once you put all the facts together, it seems as if this company could have a great opportunity ahead of them. And for us as investors, it may be time to capitalize on this opportunity. But first, before we get into that company, I do want to do a quick update on Zometica Corp, ticker symbol ZOM. So obviously it had a rough day yesterday just as a lot of stocks did in the market, but today it is already up 10% again. Which brings me to this point, shout out to everyone that bought the dip yesterday, did not get scared of the red, and increased their position on a lot of their holdings. As we can see here, ZOM is up 10%. Other companies that I spoke about yesterday, like BioNanogenomics and NanoDimension, are also up anywhere from 5 to 10% as well, along with many other companies. Now, this is not to say that the market won't continue to go down over the next week or even longer. Nobody really knows what's going to happen, but it just shows you even after dips, even after days or weeks or months in the red, stocks will eventually recover if they are a good company. So, again, shout out to everyone that didn't get scared. And and shout out to everyone that bought the dip yesterday. Also, real quick before I get into the future predictions for Zometica Corp, we have been in ZOM stock since about 40%, and even after this recent dip, are still up about 500% on this company. So guys, if you want plays like this every single day of the week, don't forget, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. You guys can get updated every time I post a video. Shout out to the 10,000 of you that have your notifications turned on. I really appreciate that and you guys know exactly how valuable that is. Anyways though, moving on first, why did Zomstock even see a run up in the first place? A lot of us know this already, but let's just go over it real quick. So obviously they announced the launch of Trueforma and this is their main product and was some very exciting news. They said it would be launching on March 30th. Also, their commercialization plan, Zometica entered into a distribution agreement with Miller Veterinarian Supply, who is one of the largest veterinarian distribution companies in the world. This agreement allows the company to tap into one of the largest veterinary networks in the world, which is going to expand its total addressable market and potential revenue for Trueforma. And of course, other reasons were no more delisting a threat since they maintained that above $1 a share and retail investors got very excited about this company. So the main question, the million dollar question, what is ahead for Zometica and where can this company go in the future? Now, of course, there is still that big catalyst on the line and that is the launch of the product on March 30th. I do think there could be some more exciting leading up to this launch and depending on what the overall market does, we could see a gradual incline until then. Nevertheless, though be aware of that date because just like we saw with CCIV investors do tend to buy the rumor and then sell the news there is a chance to see a big sell-off on March 30th so just plan accordingly whichever your investing strategy is personally I am going to continue to hold this stock until we can get a gauge of the true future potential of true forma and that's going to be will veterinarians use this and switch over their current methods to true forma that is going to be the big question and if we can see that happen I do believe there is a bright future ahead of Zometica there are some risks of course one is speculation true forma is expected to be a smash hit product quote unquote from this article but nevertheless nobody knows 
just how this product is going to sell because obviously it's not even on the market yet. And that is the big question. Is this product going to succeed? If it does, I think there's big future potential. If not, you're going to see this stock have a massive dip until maybe they come out with another product. Also, of course, as we have seen, there is extreme volatility in this stock. It has run up massively and it has gone down a little bit as investors are taking some profit. Another risk is the profitability of Zometica. Of course, right now they are not a profitable company as they don't even have a product on the market. And if these funds don't last until this release date of the product, and until they ultimately start generating revenue, they are going to have to dilute some shares to raise some capital. So just another thing to look out for and another thing that could create a brief dip in the stock price. Like I said, for me though, I'm going to hold this company. I do believe Truforma has the chance to be successful and I'm going to ride that wave until we see what they can do. Now it has crossed my mind to maybe take my initial investment out of this company and at the most I may do that. Regardless, even if I do, I will still have some shares to ride the long term for this company until we see the future potential of Truforma and that's not going to be until it's actually on the market and we see if veterinarians actually like the product. So let me know in the comments below, are you guys invested in Zometica? Did you guys buy the dip down here yesterday at about $1.60 a share, which was a big discount from where it has been in the last few weeks. Let me know what you guys are doing with Zometica and if you think it is a hold for the long term. Now let's take a look at St. George's Eco Mining Corp. I think you guys are really going to appreciate some of the research that is found here. So just for a disclosure, this is somebody's DD off stockdailymedia.com. So do take it with more or less a grain of salt. Nevertheless, I fact checked everything in this article and it all seems to be true. So the first thing I want to mention briefly is the government's view on this. So as we know, US President President Biden's clean energy plan expects to see investments of over $400 billion over 10 years, and that is going to be a major focus on clean energy vehicles. The plan calls for 500,000 new charging outlets by the end of the decade. Tesla also plans to produce 20 million EVs annually by 2033, and we also have other companies like Neo and Lucid that could be starting to make a big impact on that market as well. So by 2025, 250,000 tons of discarded battery packs could be sitting in our landfills and that is where companies like this and ABML come in. They're looking for a way to recycle lithium so it can be cheaper, cleaner for the environment, and ultimately create sustainability for EVs. So St. George is working on a revolutionary technology to extract lithium from clay with patents pending. They have an existing agreement with Iconic Minerals, which gives Iconic the right to use this new technology on its lithium properties in Nevada. And they gave St. George 5 million shares of their company, investment in St. George's, and perpetual royalties. So obviously this company, Iconic, sees the potential in the technology. And how could they not as St. George has reported remarkable early stage results with lithium extraction up to 98% and completed in record time. And so yes, as this article emphasizes, that is 98% and that is compared to about 30% for the average. And so stick with me here. I know this is a lot of reading, but I do think you're going to find this information valuable and we're going to bring it all together at the end of the video. Now, this is another big piece of the puzzle right here, and that is at St. George's partnership with Altar International to produce clean energy recycling processes for lithium ion batteries. It is a revolutionary project as it reuses every last piece of these old EV batteries. Absolutely nothing is wasted. Obviously, this potential is boundless. Now, how much did Atar pay St. George to get in on this partnership? Altar paid 6 million shares and $300,000 cash, and both companies are already hard at work at their pilot plant in Quebec. And this is a world-class facility with ties to the government. So this is nothing small and a big project that they are working on and could compete very closely with American battery metals. And so this is where it gets even more interesting as a big name is brought up here. Remember, it's not what you know, it is who you know. So here, St. George started a subsidiary company specifically for their clean energy projects named EVSX. And the first hire they made as director and president was Mr. Paul Pelosi. 
So yes, that is Pelosi, the son of US Congresswoman and Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Regardless of your point of view on her, this could be a big deal for this company. Paul Pelosi has a deep resume and was the president of Environmental Commission and San Francisco. He has a deep resume regarding clean energy, so it is a good thing to see him involved in this company. In a statement released, it says, EVSX and Mr. Pelosi is dedicated to the electric vehicle battery technology and future partnerships in the development of lithium mineral resources. He contributed $200,000 of his own money, so almost a quarter million dollars, so he definitely has his heart behind this one and could make a huge impact in the space. Now here comes our company, American Battery Metals, which we have talked about for a while now. So ABM founder, Mr. Craig Alford, is the CEO of Barrel Energy, and Mr. Alford is currently speaking with both Altar International and St. George's in order to acquire location sites for future recycling plants in Nevada. So pretty cool here. And as you can see, to bring it all together, one SXOOF develops a potentially revolutionary lithium extraction process. ICM quickly partners with them and brings the technology to Nevada, which of course is close to Tesla, maybe a potential partnership there. SX and Altar develop a potentially revolutionary lithium recycling process. Altar quickly pays for the opportunity to partner with SX and they go off to Quebec to develop this tech. SX opens a subsidiary and hires Paul Pelosi. Jr. as president of it, and he obviously has connections and a long resume in this space already. And lastly, the founder of ABML, now CEO of Barrel Energy, opens talk to find space for SX and Alter to cost-effectively bring their revolutionary recycling process to Nevada. So we are seeing multiple partnership opportunities here, a revolutionary process in the making, and ultimately, big potential for this very cheap and small company. So what do you guys think about St. George's Eco Mining? Do you think this company has the potential to be successful in the lithium battery industry or do you think it is not worth the risk at all? Let me know down in the comments below and also let me know how you think this compares to ABML. I would love to hear your thoughts. So that is all I have for today guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found some value out of it. Remember, I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Use this information to your own investing advantage and to make wise decisions. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video.